Good morning. Before I call the meeting to order, uh, a couple of housekeeping announcements. If you happen to be in possession of a cell phone or other electronic device, if you please silence it at this time, we would appreciate it. And then if there's anyone here who wishes to address <coughs> the airport trust outside the council chambers here, there's a sign-up sheet and some forms out there. If you would uh, so notify us that you want to speak, uh, we will call upon you at the appropriate time. That all being said, it's time to call to order uh, the February 27th meeting of the Oklahoma City Airport Trust. Our first order of business is to approve the minutes of the January 23rd Oklahoma City Airport Trust meeting. We have a motion, a second. Any comments or questions? Please cast your votes and is approved. Director's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. I uh, often make comments about air service, so I do want to spend a little bit of time on that again this morning. Uh, January 31st, um, American Airlines announced new daily nonstop service to New York's LaGuardia Airport, which is huge for our city. The service starts on June the 4th, and if you uh, want to have a long day, you can get there and get back. The uh, flight departs Oklahoma City at 6.03, AM arrives in New York at 10.30 and departs LaGuardia at 7.30 p.m., arriving at 10.10. So we have been working, Karen and I and Scott, we have been working on LaGuardia for probably 10 years, wouldn't you say so, Karen? So LaGuardia has been often a, a long-time targeted market for us, and Oklahoma City's market 10 years ago was sort of on the bubble whether we thought that it could support New York's LaGuardia, but as Oklahoma City has prospered and developed and uh, population has increased and business development has increased, it's obvious now that for the last few years LaGuardia has um, been a solid market for us to continue to go after. So we're very happy that American has, has finally taken um, this on. Um, keep in mind that airlines have limited resources mainly aircraft and they have a lot of choices on where they can put uh, aircraft and so they're um, very choosy about that so when they choose a city we do not take that lightly so we want to make sure we use the service um, because we want to keep it. I just want to mention we've had such good employments the last two or three years and I just want to highlight some of the cities that we've um, received service to by a variety of airlines um, as you know, Miami uh, started in December of last year with American Southwest uh, recently announced daily service to Nashville. Um, we had Philadelphia with American a year or so ago. We have all three airports uh, in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, American and Southwest go to Reagan. We have Southwest going to Baltimore, Washington International, United going to Dulles. We have Seattle. Um, which uh, is Alaska Airlines, and San Francisco's been with us a couple of years with United, and we have, of course, Newark, and we've had that for a long time, seasonal with United Airlines. So if you look at our route map on our website, it's pretty impressive how we go crisscrossing across the country, and I think it's indicative of how well Oklahoma City has prospered and developed. And as I said last uh, month when we talked about the Miami service, uh, so goes the community, so goes your airport, and also it so goes uh, airline uh, air service. So my comments today, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Appreciate thank you. the time. Any comments from the trustees on the director's report? I think he wants an attaboy. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Oklahoma, Oklahoma City can have an attaboy. Congratulations. Right. Oklahoma City can good have good. an attaboy. Thank you for that good report. Thank you. Next up, Will Rogers World Airport. Item A is to ratify and approve addendum number one for the Hangar 8 heating system replacement project, receive the recommendation on the bids that were uh, received and uh, award the contract to Shiloh Enterprises for $2,375,000 approving the contract and bonds. Item B is approving the contract for professional services with Benham Design LLC for the terminal building roof repairs and replacement project it's for $39,825. This is an initial study to determine what capital improvements are necessary for the roof repairs. Item C is approving the contract with MacArthur Associated Consultants, and this is for the rehabilitation and actual reconstruction of runway 13 and 31. 
Uh, it's an amount of $2,879,988.01. I don't know why we didn't negotiate that one cent down, but it's there. Uh, but this is for a complete reconstruction of the crosswind runway at Will Rogers World Airport, which is a big project. It's estimated around $30 million is what it will be in total, and it will be in two different phases, and there will be FAA airport improvement funds that will um, offset a lot of the cost on that, mainly fund that program. Item D is approving a service agreement with Integrity Resources. They maintain our natural gas system at the Mike Maroney Aeronautical Center. It's an estimated amount of $6,000. Item E is approving the contract with ATEC Paving. This is for our cell phone waiting lot project, and it's an increase of $9,775, and we're adding 26 days. We're also approving Change Order 2, which is a decrease of $16,164. F is amendment number two to the contract with LWPB. They are doing the design for the multi-bay maintenance facility addition at uh, field maintenance at Will Rogers of $4,633.83 reduction. Item G is uh, amendment number three to the contract with Kimley Horn and Associates. Uh, this is for the West Terminal Multi-Use Parking Lot Project. It's an increase not to exceed $16,000. H, <clears throat> excuse me, is approving change order 11 to the contract with Timberlake Construction for the terminal expansion project, increase of $131,548.17. Item I is approving the plans and project manual by Frankfurt Shore Bruiser. This is for the food court infrastructure upgrades and the authorization to advertise the bids to be open on March 25th. J is approving a resolution for marketing support and landing fee credits with, uh, in accordance with our air service incentive program for American for the new nonstop service to LaGuardia Airport. Item K is adopting the resolution authorizing the replacement, replacement of an engine for a John Deere tractor with PNK equipment on city contract. It's an estimated amount of $27,390.12. Item L is adopt the resolution authorizing the purchase of four Glavelle Universal Shuttle buses for uh, our public parking operation from Creative Bus Sales. It's in, in an amount of $297,284 that's utilizing state contract. And last item M is to approve the request for bids for self-contained breathing apparatus equipment for our firefighters and authorized bids to be opened on March 25th. Those are all the items, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. You've heard the items under Will Rogers. Move approval. We have a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it is approved. Wiley Post, sir. The only item under Wiley Post is approved change order one to the contract with Hunter Mechanical and Controls Incorporated. They're doing plumbing and mechanical systems replacement for the FAA building and terminal building. It's an increase of $65,685.60 request approval. You've heard the item under Wiley Post. We have a motion to approve. And a second. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it's approved. General. Only one item under general. The uh, standard reports we have, the delinquent accounts receivable report, construction project report, and the budget to actual. And that's the only item under general request approval. You've heard the request for approval under general. We have a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Please, any comments? Seeing them, please cast your votes. And it is so approved. Next up, lease and other agreements. Item A is to approve the Aviation Support and Maintenance Services Agreement with DBT Transportation Services, LLC. They will provide maintenance, inspections, repair, and labor for the weather, uh, runway weather information system at Will Rogers World Airport in an estimated amount of $4,500. Item B is approving the lease agreement with Harold Smith. Uh, he leases 80 square feet for his shoeshine business in the terminal at Will Rogers. Item C is approving a performance bond. Uh, applicable to the operations and maintenance agreement with Terrace Global. They maintain our baggage handling system at Will Rogers World Airport. D is approving a performance bond in association with the management contract with First Transit. They run our rental car shuttle bus operation and maintenance. Item E is adopting the resolution authorizing staff to negotiate a concession agreement with Airport Express. This is to provide taxi cab and shuttle concession services at Will Rogers. Item F is approving supplement number two. This is to the lease and operations agreement with FC Oklahoma, OK Landlord LLC. This is just revising an exhibit B based on the final survey. Item G is approving a supplement to the maintenance, excuse me, management services contract we have with Protect Fire Services and revised exhibit C and D at Will Rogers. 
Item H and I are assignment and assumption agreements between the lease uh, with the airport trust and Hex Living Trust. This is for do two different uh, lots uh, at Clarence e. Page Airport and the Hex Living Trust is transferring these to DNJ Land LLC. And last item J is approving lease agreements for uh, 13 different individuals which have hangar sites at Clarence e. Page Airport uh, where they can store their privately owned aircraft. Request approval for all the leases and agreements, please. You've heard the items that are leases and agreements. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it is so approved. And request approval for the re excuse me, the requisitions item eight. We have a request for requisitions. We have a motion to approve and a second. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it is so done. That brings us to the point in our agenda for um, comments from trustees. I'd like to make a comment. It doesn't relate directly to the trust, but uh, since the trust last met, our former city manager, Glenn Deck, passed away up in Lawrence, Kansas. He was uh, manager when I became mayor, served for the first couple of years that I was mayor. And um, our city has been blessed uh, the last Four city managers, I think, have been promoted from within. And um, we've been blessed by great leadership in the manager's office and in the, the uh, ACMs and staff under the manager and, quite frankly, on the mayor and council. And so I just want to recognize Glenn, and he was a fine man. Um, never smoked a day in his life, but had lung cancer and, and uh, died of that. Jim Couch and Kathy O'Connor and I were able to go up and see him a few months before he died and had a great time with him. Good man. I appreciate the mayor uh, making the comments about that. Um, Glenn was finance director when I was in the budget office and had a significant influence on my life. And uh, really good man. He really was. Made a real difference here. There's a lot of things that we still do today that are a result of his leadership. So definitely agree with that. Thank you, gentlemen. Any other? Seeing none, let's move on. Uh, comments from staff. Staff is quiet today. Is there any citizens wishing to be heard? Has anybody signed up for yes. Seeing nobody here for that either, uh, we are adjourned. <laughs>